So another quick tip video this time about using the polyphonic inserts on the mind meld mixers. These inputs allow us to add effects and processing onto the different channels. And let me show you what I mean by that. I have here the FM operator. Right, and let's say that I want to send it into a delay, right? So I will send this to the delay module, in this case, Prince of Perception, and then back to the mixer. Right, so we inserted an effect um, onto this voice in the chain, right? Let's disconnect this for a second. I will connect again the FM operator. And now let's use the mixer insert. So for this, we will need two modules that are also a part of this collection we have meld and unmeld of course all of them are available for free right these modules will help us with the polyphony so the insert output right we have here one to eight will go to unmeld now we have access to the first eight channels uh, the first eight stereo channels right and the output of meld will go back to the uh, polyphonic insert input in this case. And now we get no sound. And this is because we cut off right here. There is nothing going through. We cut off the chain. So all we have to do is, is send it through to the input of the meld. Right, and now we get the same results. But again, we have access to the first eight stereo channels. We have 16 channels or eight uh, stereo channels that we can then process and add all sorts of things that will be a part of the chain. For example, the delay. Here the FM operator is going to channel number one. Right, in this case it's mono, so I can just use the left output. This will go to the delay, and the delay will go back to the meld module. Right, so now the delay is a part of the chain, and this will be after the input gain in the right click menu of the different channels of this mixer, we have the gain adjust. So if I lower the gain, this will send less and less the FM operator into the delay. You can see this quite clearly on Prince of Perception, how the delay, the level on the delay is lowered. So the gain here will be before the delay. It will be like, We've added here some sort of attenuation, right? And lowered the volume before the delay. And this can be a whole chain, of course, right? The same with raising the input. You can see quite clearly on the delay, the level goes up and up. So this is before the delay. And also on each of the channels on this mixer, uh, there is a high pass filter and a low pass filter, and you can change how they will act. In the right click menu, we can have this pre-insert. If I change this and I lower, let's say, or I raise the high pass. Right, so now the high pass signal will go to the delay. So this will be like we added here a filter in between. Right, so this is now before the inserts, before the delay. But if I change this now to post insert, which is the same, uh, which is the default setting, now the full FM operator will go to the delay, and after the delay, we add the filter. Right, so this you can also change. But let's have a look at another example and why this is uh, such an interesting feature. Right, so I have here some uh, drums, I have here a kick going through some delay, a closed hi-hat, and a snare with a gated river. I will put a link uh, to this page in the description so you can download it and have a closer look. It will sound like this. Right, and now let's say that I want to process all of the drums with some distortion and compression. Right, so again, I will use the insert inputs and outputs. And for this, we will need again the unmeld and the meld. The unmeld will basically give us access to the channels and the meld will meld them or combine them again into a polyphonic signal we can then just send to the mixer. Right, so in this case, I'm going to use also the groups feature of this mixer, right? I can set the drums to be on the same group and then process all of them uh, together. So here down we have the group, right? If I click the plus here, it will change this to group one, or I can just hover with the mouse and then click on my keyboard the number one, and this will set group number one. And here we have the groups, right? You see group one and we have level. So now all of the drums go to group number one, 
right and now we have here the outputs the polyphonic output this is the bigger mixer so we have one to eight nine to sixteen and then group and auxiliary so this will go to unmeld from there the through will go to meld and then back to the group input right and now we have access right to the different um to the different channels and you can see here the text automatically changed instead of channel one we have group one to four and then auxiliary one to four so it's really easy to understand also what's going on and now we can process them again with distortion and compression in this case and you can switch them you can have compression before distortion as you wish so now group one in this case will be left and right distortion from the distortion to the compression and then back and already you can hear the drums are processed with this chain and I can change it right add some compression right so now I have the drums all of the drums processed by distortion and by compression right so you can see the insert um, feature or the insert outputs and inputs can be quite quite useful I have here also a bass let me unmute this this is the kick call from Befaco with a nice chain I have here and sequenced by the Euclidean sequencer and I have here two sequences that I will also want to process I have the grid sec sequencing palette and sequencing the modern VCO let me solo this also Right, and let's say that again, I would like to process them a bit in this case with reverb and delay. I want both of them to have the same reverb and the same delay, and again, a part of the chain without using uh, send effects. Right, so this is what I will do. I will have reverb, and then you know what? After the reverb, let's have delay. And now I have access here to group number two. So I will set them, the sequences, to be group number two. Again, I'm just clicking uh, the number two on my keyboard. Right, and then this will go to the reverb, which is just now the two sequences. And again, to the delay, let's we'll also connect the clock here. And then back to the meld modules, or module. Right, and now I can add some reverb. Right, and I can add some, maybe more feedback, just for fun maybe some modulation right so now we have both of the sequences as a part of the chain going to plateau and the delay from surge right so this is an insert effect it's a part of the chain right it's not a send effect like I have here plateau this is sending the uh, sound into a different channel where the effect is the inserts are a part of the chain so you can add modulation and um, with a bigger mixer you have up to four groups that you can use right if you have some sort of a big patch and you don't want to disconnect things but add things inside the chain you can do this with the insert so it's really really useful and of course, you can also abuse these outputs in all sorts of ways. And this is actually your homework for the weekend. Try and find unique ways of using these inserts and share your results with us. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Cheers.